If you go to Breath of the Wild on speedrun.com, you'll find a section called Individual Levels, or ILs for short. Breath of the Wild has 120 shrines, 136 with DLC, each one being a small gauntlet to complete in a couple minutes. In the IL section of speedrun.com, you can find a leaderboard for every shrine in the game. However, if you've browsed this list extensively, you might have noticed that close to every single shrine is under 9 seconds. But why? The answer, of course, is a glitch. There are three essential components necessary for this glitch to work. For the first one, we need to cast Link into a bottomless void. When Link voids out, i.e. drowning, falling into lava, quagmire, or a pit like those in shrines, two things happen. The first is that the last, safe place, is coordinates are copied. Then, the game fades to black and respawns Link at those coordinates. Keep this in mind, it will be important later. Moving on to the second component, let's talk about shrines. Shrines are all located in a copy of this bright skybox world. Because they're not all in the same existence, the developers have the luxury of putting them around the same coordinates as their respective universes. The final piece of the puzzle is a ludicrous glitch known as apparatus storage. Apparatus storage puts the game in a state that has a ton of very complicated side effects. One of the things it can do is carry some bits of data through loading a save. So, now that everything is laid out, time to do some setup. We'll start by finding the coordinates to the end of the shrine we want to complete. Then, we find an apparatus shrine with a safe place that has roughly the same coordinates as the end of the other shrine. Activate apparatus storage, then stand on the safe place. Then, we'll launch Link into the void, which won't do anything. Now we can load an autosave in the other shrine. This will store the void out process. So when the game loads Link in, he'll try to void out to the coordinates of the safe place in the apparatus shrine. The only difference is we aren't in that shrine anymore. And now, we've successfully skipped a shrine in, oh, I don't know, around 8 seconds? This glitch is called VOS, or Void Out Storage. To simplify this whole thing, essentially we set a safe place to respawn to that overlaps coordinates with the end of the other shrine. So when we void out, it takes us to the end of the shrine, or where the safe place would be in the first shrine. So, why not do this in every shrine? Well, Breath of the Wild is already so broken that many shrines can be completed in less than 8 seconds anyway. The rest use VOS, except... 7. Four of these seven shrines are on the Great Plateau and require a 30 second cutscene. The other three don't use it for a different reason. There are 10 apparatus shrines including DLC. That means there's a finite amount of safe places that can be used for VOS. So inevitably, there are gonna be some shrines without locations that work. Something important to pay attention to is the Y value or height. If you pick a spot too low, then you might end up in a sticky situation. <clears throat> so a common theme in the three shrines is that they are all very tall, and there aren't any apparatus shrines that have that much verticality. It's still interesting to add a cap on almost all of the shrines, meaning that in the future there may be some very close times between void out storage and another fast strat. Thanks for watching! Any questions can go in the comments, my discord, or the speedrunning discord in the description. Also, huge thanks to Gent, whose tutorial I used to decipher this mess. Alright, have a good one.